Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the EU qualifiers. I'm Odi Pixel, I'm joined by Ben Wu, and of course we've got some new faces. Well, the same face, because it's Nami again, and we've also got Draskal joining us for the analytical segment of this next game. It is, of course, Mouse Sports up against Planet Dog for the second time. Mouse Sports with a 1-0 lead at the moment in this series. And uh, game one, pretty much what was expected. You weren't surprised, Ben. From the draft, bread and butter. You know what would surprise me? If you could do good accents of any other language. Why, can, why can are you doing accents? Where did that come from? <laughs> I'm curious. Okay. I think Owen's rubbing off on you. Yeah, I know. He is. What kind of accent do you want me to do? Any. Do a Lacoste accent. No, I mean, th this is just going to end up being racist and stuff. That's if I start true. doing accents. What's, why is what's that racist? Because you're making fun of other people's voices. You know, they say imitation like is the know, highest form of flattery. It's alone. really not that difficult. That's actually pretty you good. You can sometimes say things. That was that was, that was creepy. That was good. You know, DMZ has pretty good Roma. Oh, how can I do, do, do Is that? Was that, was that racist, that Owen? Yeah, it wasn't racist. I'm yeah, I mean, an homage. Well, you're, you're not going to be a TI now, so now I can tell you that. I just got <laughs> to go. Put me on the fire list. Who's this racist put me kid on, on the, the panel? List, get him off. Oh, yeah, put it on the fire list. Where's the pen? You know. Fired. Me and Dakota, we really like to cast together. <laughs> okay, good. Not entirely me. Soon that's how we spell it right. Got yeah, that's soon army. We'll go with some EU spelling. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this this pen's awful, Ben. I didn't give you that one. I guess I'm half fired. You you can be in red. Uh oh, that's like ultra soon fired. Army. That is offensive. I'll draw a tsunami. There we go. Some people are like. Oh, you, if you want a brand, you gotta get a logo. How Merli is that Merlini, a tsunami? Merlini has that little Mario. Does it work a tsunami? Yeah. Or, or you have the lightning bolt also, the Merlini lightning bolt. I thing. have two things. Yeah. What do you have? Oh, you've actually got I don't a have logo. one. I have a logo. I need a there. brand. OD Pixel, what's your brand? Um, you got I a logo? don't. No, I don't actually know. Yeah. What's okay. your Steam icon? Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's from, from that game, Bit, 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 Bit Runner. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I didn't know what it was. I thought that was your logo. It's just something I said ages ago and I never changed it. Mm. Yeah. Well, we've got a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on the screen. Game oh, 2 they, has See, they didn't ban the MP. They didn't ban MP. They well, let them have it again. MP wasn't really the problem I don't last know, game. It was what? I think it definitely was. Did you watch problem. the game? Well, okay. Not, they, they drafted themselves. Fire times two. They, okay, you can... You can <laughs> they drafted themselves into a corner from the start. It didn't really matter what heroes that they had in the laning phase. And the laning phase is what really... Set the stage. Set the stage for the rest of the game. I don't know. If you had a more influential <laughs> safe lane that can control the nature's profit a little bit better, sure, they could have picked better manageable. against it. Yeah. I, I guess, yeah, yeah. Overall, but the nature's profit punished their, their crappy draft. Yes, yeah. it did. But it was. But first, maybe they're not going to. Maybe they're not going to do a crappy draft this time. It was first yeah. pick last time as well. So you have time to read the NP, and he's definitely a counterable the hero. The thing is, they've been using it all the time though. So I would have expected that they, they would have known. 24 hours to counter right. the NP. Yeah. Or not 20, maybe like 15 hours. I think it's about 14. 14, okay, yeah. Okay. I, d I don't know, I'm just making them. EU up. math. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. But uh, no, we'll see what they do. I mean, so far, it's looking to be the same. Nature's Profit, Queen of Pain, oh, Mouse Sports. Oh, now that I like. What, the response to it? No, oh, that was this, fast. this Look at the logo. Yeah, like who the is this? Oh, wow. That's impressive. Look at that. Oh, can I get one? Where's my logo? I want a oh logo. Oh, man, he's even, one he's even got a little ben? wave transition. Need one for Draskal? No. Where's yeah, our logo? All Rob's going to do is just put Brian. That's not a logo. Why spider. have I got a spider? OD spider. <laughs> Get that out of there. Is that supposed to mean like you're erratic or something? <laughs> I guess so. I'm, I'm or you're a broodmother yeah. picker. I don't play broodmother. Do like you, you play brood. You're a I do I play brood. Play brood God help me. I, I love brood me some brood. Maybe Absolutely he's trying to make you be like Spider Man. You think I can micro? I mean, I'm a bit in that stuff, honestly. Well, mouse sports know how to micro. They feel confident. They certainly Skylark pick. certainly knows what he's doing. He he knew how to a click his trance straight to the shrine. <laughs> Last game, very impressive. Their heroes are way better this time already, though. Planet Dog. Yeah, yeah I like this a lot. Yeah, would you winners. would you agree, Ben? This yes. Is, this is. I think the Dark Seer in particular is really good. I mean, they even like protect the Dark Seer even more by taking the Nyx themselves. So position four, I guess. Is it time to Veno? Oh, for uh, mouse sports, are they going to stick with the same? I, I don't know. When there's a Dark Seer and a Jakiro, when you're going to have Dark Seer being able to pick up an early pipe or whatnot, I think. Isn't that so. worse against like those offlaners that just naturally build into pipe? Well, that's, what, that's what I'm yeah. saying, yeah. I, th I think it's that, that kind of puts you off it, doesn't it? Maybe. And plus, Surge is ownage against Venom. Yeah. But Veno. But, yeah, that's true, actually. But Veno. I mean, it did work out very well, but I, I, could I think they could. I think they could. Do Mouse it could run some Drow. They could. They could certainly I actually like Drow yeah. against the Drow's good, yeah. too. 
It's risky for Starks here, though. I don't know. I mean, it, it allows is. you to play him out but the lane. No, no, no. It's angle. more so yeah, like they have if you fail a high ground push because you get dark oh, back in wall, you just like can't. They have Ooh. such good bangs Bane? for the Drow lineup as well. I mean, I know, uh, yep. yeah, with yeah. Bane as well, this is leading to more towards the possibility of a Drow lineup. Yeah, if they get some. Have like a bit of catch for Ember. Like a witch with doctor. The cast. Yeah, this Ember. This is the wow. classic Iron Shell Ember. Very strong. Much fight. I guess they didn't like losing super hard last game. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do? Mouse sports. They need a building hitter. Drow. Drow. I mean, Nature's Prophet can No, no, no. I, I meant for Planet Dog. Oh, so Planet Dog. Not, yeah. not for Mouse. I, yeah, you're right. Planet Dog don't have a... Well, they got a Jakiro. That's, that's, that's pretty good. You know what I mean? Jakiro sometimes all you need. Silence is going to be picked up. So again, a third hero from the same draft that Mouse Sports bought to game one. The only difference being that Bane pick instead of the Spirit Breaker, which was in fact banned out by themselves. I do like Drow. I mean, Drow looks great here now. Uh, you have what, five range, sorry, well, four range heroes uh, with uh, good potential to punch and a Bane already. He's got a nice bit of damage on him. Let's do it. Yeah, playing a dog duty in a tower hitter, though. Maybe it's just because I watched that BO3 between Vega and M19, but I'm feeling an anti mage from Madara. I'm from Madara? Mm hmm. Okay. It's a pretty decent AM game. They don't push that Are you fast. Sure? There they fight. They fight really early. That's the only risk. There's a lot of chain disabled though, and plus you got wall to deal yeah. with. I just see these this lineup, and I'm like, post 25 minutes, they can't kill that hero. They guys just go jug. Yeah, that's also true. Jug's always see, pretty well, safe. I haven't seen very many jug in EU recently. Well, we've seen we've seen it been banned out a few times. Yeah, in that's because banned out is like a better jug because you just push the lane by yourself. You don't even need like your team. You just go there and you drop like four plague wars, and everyone just looks at the tower and goes, "Well, this thing's dead." Yeah, but and he they can't. Don't go there. He can't really man fight as prominently, and he doesn't like do mid game stuff as much as like Veno does mid game pushing, but Jug can get mid game kills. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's definitely good. Like healing ward is OP. Yeah, that's also true. Pretty sure it's mega easy kills on the darks here too. You just nightmare the surge, and you just spin on him, and he dies. Let's see what Mouse ban out here. Planet Dog, of course, still looking for that swift ending carry. And uh, Troll taken away. So uh, certainly would have been the uh, the tower push that, you, as you said, Andy, you feel that Planet Dog will be hoping for with their position one. And what do Mouse Sports take? Will it be a Drow? Something still a little it's different? It's I, still I like Drow. Um, I think Tsunami said Jug, too. I like that. Yeah, Jug sounds safe. Staple for Madara as well. I guess you can go Jug if you want to make sure the Ember does not have a good game, but you can go Drow Ranger if you are content with your supports being babysit. Or you can Veno. just go Veno for okay. answer. They just, yeah, stick with it. So four of the same heroes that we saw Mouse Sports bring to game one. Uh, but as we say, definitely Planet Dog already looking to have a much better answer this time. At right? least it does mean that Bane and Silencer can bother the Amber Spirit a lot in the mid lane because Venno doesn't really need that much help against a Dark Seer. That's true. Yeah, yeah you can hold and your own. The, the famous words of Ben Merlini Wu, but Venno. But Venno. Ugh. Can't dispute it. The logic is flawless. I mean, what did Palantir Dog pick? What Maybe Anti Mage. I think Anti Mage is pretty good. Their physical damage is awful. Oh! oh. PL. I know Ben has a vendetta against this hero, and I also am right there with him. Oh, he's not that bad. I like since playing PL. Since the HP region. I mean, I like playing him. He's just a terrible hero. You think he's not that bad in I this don't game? Think, I don't think the buff to his HP region was enough. He's like 25th percentile. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You don't pick 25th percentile on a TI qualifier. I think there is. That's in our mind. In their mind, he's probably higher. I think it's kind of like the same premise as an anti mage, though, right? You get to a point where their, their heroes really don't ever kill you. You're going to have probably Manta this game. It's really actually easy to dodge things like Poison Ovin Gale with Doppelganger as well. Very elusive. But his anti-push is terrible. And his lane presence is pretty mediocre as well. Yeah. I guess that's a problem with the Agadims, right? It takes you so long to get to your next item after you, you build that you thing. You think he should go Ag this game? Well, they have a lot of push by the just the Darkseer and right. the Ember. And the Jakiro. So I, I, don't, I don't think he needs it. I like tankier build so you can utilize the Ion Shell more. Just yeah. go the, the QO patented. He gets like bots into defusal straight heart. Just get in there. I think he needs a manta this game though. Yeah, he definitely needs a manta. Yeah, definitely. 
I'll be interested to see PL. I've got to be honest myself. Uh, have any of you guys seen any teams play a PL this qualifiers? I have not. I've not. I've I know not. Fnatic does play it from the series. Yeah, I'm sure so. I'm sure someone must have picked it, but uh, I've not been able to catch any PL, PL performances, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, indeed, Planet Dog can do this as uh, we go into game two. Our sports versus Planet Dog. A lot on the line. You know, necessarily not, not out of the qualifiers if you lose this game, but winning it will put on you on that straight path to the winner's bracket finals, to the best of five. Avoids that potential of having to play two series on the second day of the playoffs, which is always nice uh, to make sure. Oh, no, we got the tower. Best not to do. Yeah, we do. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Your tower is a winner. Me. My what boy, is this? that's what I like to They're see. They're actually color coded, too. Mine's like blue gray. Oh, that's true, gray. yeah. <laughs> Man, that is some next level shit right there. <laughs> There we go. And th you guys, are you sticking around here? I uh, want to see how a PL game pans stick out. Stick around, Andy. I'm gonna go into a coma. Okay, I'm that's fine. Low. You can you can lie there. You, 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 you can stick around with us physically. You can stick around physically. I'm gonna be right over there. All right, <laughs> he's All right. on. All right, I'll feel your presence. Right. We'll see, you, Andy. Tsunami's gonna stick around with us. Uh, me and Ben as well for this game. Game two. What are we gonna do? We are gonna have a pause at the moment. What's the reason? He is going to reconnect his PC. All of a sudden, Milan's having a few issues. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're thinking this game. Should not be as One 20 minutes in losing two racks. It no. shouldn't. It shouldn't come to that this game. I hope not. If it does, unless something massively goes. If wrong. it does, then I will absolutely be blaming the PL pick. Okay. But that's the thing that could crumble. Yeah. Yeah. Aside from that, definitely much more stable draft. Yeah. Do you agree, Ben? Yeah. They they have better lanes. Like Ember versus Quap is not that bad, and then they have the Dark Seer plus whomever on these melee heroes that can destroy them, uh, I think, in the mid-game. And, and it's good anti-push in particular. The, I think the Darkseer pick was a nice swap up from last game. Yeah, I think... The bat did nothing. It, I was going to say, he the took ages to crushed. get his blink, and then I don't think there was one good... It, it wasn't really on the bat, maybe, at that stage. It was just the, the whole way the game was going, but it was very hard for 3-3 to have any sort of impact with that blink. I mean, blinking in, lassoing a Venno with pipe and such, and then dragging him into a favorable position at the end of the day from Adara, it was... That, at that point, you knew the game was over. He uh, also couldn't stop the Viper from dying constantly in the yeah. mid. That was, I think, the bigger issue. Yeah, because we weren't sure if they were going to put their resources on the Slark or the Viper. And yeah. it seemed like it didn't really matter one way or the other, but the Viper was just not having a good time. I mean, the mid lane this time, Ember, should fare a little... I mean, you know, should this, is this going to be any easier, or is there still it's potential for him to, to mess up? Uh, there's a the potential for it to mess up. Yeah. If you miss just slight dodges on the on the shadow strikes, yes. then it's really hard. Yeah, TI7 admin, get oh, in. Oh, dropping the question marks. That's a Valve official question mark. <laughs> That's some next level BM. Do you think having to go for slight so early on just to dodge shadow strike is gonna kind of suck for him? No. It's not that not bad. Versus co -op. I think, yeah, it's, you it's just have to do it. Necessary. It? Yeah, it's necessary, but then like that's the thing. You picked Ember into a necessary slight build. Well, I think uh, the thing is he can catch back up easily later with the Dark Seer Aya show. Like they That's true. They have a lot of magic damage, but they I don't think they can actually kill him. That are disables in the laning fairly. phase they can though, cuz Bane and Silencer will probably have nothing better to do than to irritate Ember Spirit. I don't know. I have to deal with Dark Seer. Dark Seer is like Dark Seer is a menace. Darks is really difficult to zone out, and I don't. You don't want him to get free farm because the pipe will destroy Mouse's lineup. That's true. So I, I the supports are gonna be hard pressed to split their resources, and also you generally don't need to help a co-op in the mid lane unless it's versus Puck or something like a Viper, like we saw in the last game. Especially because you have to threat at the nature of profit, so the enemy off laner or em enemy mid laner can't play as aggressively as normal. Yeah, and Skylark's hyperactive on this nature's profit. And they have a mid ward on both sides, and Planet Dog doesn't know how to make a logo. <laughs> so they know they messed it up. Yeah, look Aww. at the mid lane, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, you mean this logo? Oh, no, the one, in the well, the the one, the this half. The oh, that the, yeah, they. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm talking That's about. Plane. Plane. <laughs> Team plane. <laughs> and it's. The back half of the dog. <laughs> the dog's <laughs> ass. <laughs> Team playing and it's a dog's ass. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, dear. I wonder how much of the of an homage the actual name is because Misery shouted it out and he was just like, I like that name because he was on Team Dog and then now he's on Planet Odd and they are Planet Dog. Yeah, I mean, I guess because the, these were the guys that used to be pro-Dota, right? 
Correct. So they, they keep the acronym, you know, Aside the PD. From Swift Endings. They keep the PD. Yeah, what team was Swift Endings used to be on? Elements, Pro Gaming. You're right, yeah, of course. So some of them come from there. Not only Swift, it was, a, was it Milan as well on Elements? Mm. I think At some point, perhaps, but the rest of them, their most recent roster was okay. Pro Dota. And okay. the Pro Dota's carry used to be Garter, but I don't know what he's up to. Yeah, I don't think he, he wasn't on any of the learners, was he? I, I, maybe he played in the open qualifiers, but... Yeah, possibly. Garter didn't make it. Some Fs and Bible thumps for Garter, please. Yes, please. But, I mean, so far, making it to playoffs, it looks like yeah, this current roster that they have has been strong. Game 1 wasn't great. We'll see how it pans out here in Game 2. Middle lane, the uh, war begins between the two V2, MNT and Thug, up against J4. Okay, so... See who can get the edge. Let's see... Bane wins this easily. Yeah, yeah it's just sure. too strong. And Darkseer started off with Talon. Just instantly off to the jungle. Yeah, he was expecting to have to face a tri lane. Otherwise, he would not have to do this against just a Silencer and a Venomancer. And bottom lane, Skylark on the Nature's Prophet. Can he cause a lot of issues here for this uh, for this Phantom Lancer? This or? PL of a poor man's. Yep. Then he's fine. The HP regen buff is... The intention is that his laning phase gets short up in terms of defensive. Aggressively, he's still very mana dependent, but at least he can take harass. Yeah, CSY so far doesn't look to be slowed down at all. Mid lane, both supports playing around on very low yeah, health. A lot of radiant creeps. There's going to be the chance here for the change to kick in, and MNT tries to turn for the brain sap. Won't get it off in time. First blood for the Ember Spirit. Great start for Planet Dog. Wow, did not have enough regen there. Double waving is so effective with that added creep in the mid lane. You really need to like, like you need to read it like a few seconds in advance because once that last creep of yours dies, and you're, you're like, wait, why am I a level behind? And there are like a thousand creeps here. It's very scary indeed, especially yeah. MNC. What can he do? He's still level one. We'll pick up an invis rune. Maybe seeing if he can go for any sort of earlier. Courier snipe, as such. Oh, he nope. He actually gave it to the nice. Knicks. Nice. Wow, that is so annoying. Getting mana burn in the mid. It's gonna make well limit Thug's potential to yeah, he really contribute much to any sort of play that MNT tries to make. Kaiser can't win the lane at this point, or Thug can't win the lane at this point. It's yeah. too too hard with uh, the start, yeah. first blood. I mean, he's 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 topping him by a mile in CS. Yeah, he. C I don't think he can kill Ember or like okay. stop Ember's farm. But Ember Ember is number one in net worth. He even went for Enfeeble. I almost never see that. I mean, I think it's great. I think Enfeeble is heavily underrated in the landing phase, but it's so expensive mana wise. Yeah, exactly. I guess ninety five is not that bad. Let's see. The Enfeeble, they do have the wraparound for Spartan as well. Looking to focus down on the Ember Spirit. And here we have it again, this movement that we saw Mouse do in game one. They bring four to the mid lane, they kill the mid lane. Smoothly done, and nothing that Planet Dog can really do to stop that sort of a play. Like, there's no way they can react to that and do anything to keep Mouse off taking down the Ember. And Nature's Prophet is going to keep being able to do this because PL does not push very well even when he's just left to his own devices. I think if they made his illusion spawn on building hits, oh, he yeah, would be... Oh, that would be... Oh, come on, don't give them ideas, Ben. Maybe the like illusions <laughs> do no damage. They'll just be there for sponges. Yeah. And so I think it's balanced. Or maybe like half oh. proc rate on buildings or he, something he like he that. I don't, we, don't, we don't want to bring back any sort of illusion push. We, we, uh, that's oh, illusions have got nerfed so hard. Yeah, they don't push illusions. anymore. They just yeah. soak damage, really, until like 40 minutes into the game, which at which point it's fair that illusions should be able to push. I don't know. I say, I say, calm, You're still calm scarred? Down, calm yeah, down. He, down. Is, he has PTSD. No, not, not the illusions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Naga out. Th that's why I always prefer Juggernaut over in these situations, because Juggernaut, you leave him alone for a little bit, he will take your tower. Well, I can go here onto Skylark. TP will come through. And we'll be cancelled straight away as they realize Skylark not to be put into too much pressure. Simple TP back to base, picks up his phase boots, will be able to come back straight to the lane with the teleport. Mid lane, 24. CS, Thug still with the lead. Gonna see a potential. Skylark ready to come back in. They want to go for another play. 
They see him with the arms though, the tail end. But can they actually get out in time? I'm just going to open up onto Keys. There's Sprouts there. They will bite him out with one of the nice tangos from J4, box. but it doesn't matter. He goes down again. And and this is going to be scary for Planet Dog. You're like, well, we, we've got this draft. It's better than last time, but still, five minutes in, two movements just like that from Skylark and Spartan, and you can't keep your mid laner alive. All right, I take it back. Nature's Prophet was definitely the problem last game. I, I think a lot of this is because the Dark Tears started off the jungle level one. Yeah. I think if you were at the at the top, like, Silencer can't just constantly park himself mid. We've seen, like, probably an average of, like, five heroes in the mid lane in the first five minutes of the game in, in this series and the last. And a lot of this just has to do with, like, the offlaner just not putting enough pressure. The last time there was, like, a mag just sitting in the trees, spamming Shockwave, or sometimes, like, a weak offlaner, like, Shaker. But... Uh, yeah, this just allows the supports to just do whatever they want. Not only is he not doing pressure, but he's about to lose his tier one tower. And, and look no at this. No one has been there. Skylock moves in. 3-3. Three, three. Spartan he just TP'd the in. Wave. Can they actually kill him? That's the question. They've dropped the wall down. Milan will TP across to react. But look at the tree and just surrounding 3-3. 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. Searches away. Spartan's there, though. Lands the curse. Surprise, surprise. Silencer in town once again. Skylark's still alive here. He does have a sprout. Can he play his way out of this one? He can't. Milan lays down the ice path, gets the kill. J4 looking towards Spartan, but MNT's come across to help out as well. That was a really smart move by Spartan. Look at where the creep wave is. The creep waves are actually working on that centaur camp because Spartan pulled the creep wave. He's going to die for this, but they got the tower and the darks here to kill and the shrine use. Yeah, these are some great movements from Mouse Sports. Spartan and Skylark just making the plays happening. Worth it. Got it. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Oh, you got the six cent. Bottom lane, swift ending. Still doing fine in the farm. 37 of the 13. As you can see, S slight S there for Madara. And now Mouse, they've made the move to the top, they've made the move middle. Now bringing the Venno down towards the bottom. They are looking to pressurize Swift Ending safe lane and uh, try and get another very early tower potentially. We'll see if Planet Dog wants to do anything about this. Is, I mean, is there any way they can hold it? It doesn't look like it. With the second set of Treants out and down, they've just got to let this one go. Look this how aggressive Spartan same is. Same thing as last game. He's just sitting there in their jungle, ready to wrap around behind them. Thugs. Wait, he's going to die if PL shows up. But it's okay, he'll probably get in. <laughs> Word. <laughs> yeah, this PR needs to go straight for him, but they, they've got no vision themselves around here. It'll all be about how quickly they react when Casey gets gone on, and he's still yet to hit level six. This is a very vulnerable Amber Spirit. They do have the shrine up, so not, true. It's not that bad for him. There's a Sonic Wave I mean, and Dyer, to worry about. Dyer doesn't need to do anything. They're pressuring the bot tier one. You don't need to start putting influence on the other parts of the map until Skylark is ready to... Oh, they have Nature's Prophet ulti too. Oh my god, he just hit level oh 6. Oh yeah, oh, never mind that. This is... Oh, and his Flame Guard is about to run out. This is really bad. Yep. Kaiser. He he should be in trouble if they get eyes on him. And they know he's oh, they, they themselves... There. Yeah, they yeah they got the water around here. They, they will have seen him moving up and down in this neighborhood. I say that Ember dies and Silencer dies. Let's have a look. How is he going to make them? No, yeah, he's moving in. That's that's going to cause him issues. Dog's there, eyes upon him. They're going to wait until he gets nice and deep and away from his team. No, he just hits the six. Can he play his way out of this one? He'll drop down the one just in time. But the shadow strike's ticking him down. He'll go for the TP out and he will make it there. That aggressive move into the creep wave to secure that level six, saving his life. Miles finds something else though. They'll turn towards Milan. J4 is there, but Spartan and Skylark focusing down the big old dragon, and they'll take him. Jump four of them, Thug, with the screen, finds the kill, and they're not done yet. Seeing if they can find a second. J4 pops the spike, Carapace turns around with the stun onto Skylark, bringing him down low. Remnant forward from Keys and will secure the kill. J4 still alive. The change is down to Spartan. He gets the curse out onto J4. It should not be enough to tick him down. The Nyx Assassin will survive. Bottom lane, Madara tried to continue the split push. Swift ending Amalan there to put a stop to it. Nice path connects, but Madara able to get himself just away. So this time Planet are able to hit back quite hard to the plays that Mouse Sports were making. And yeah, Kisa just a, a very clutch level six pickup saving him from uh, imminent death. Yeah, that was huge. Yeah. They did not need to go all the way back to the tower. They knew that Ember was going to come back with full HP and mana very, very quickly. He didn't even drop a remnant to remnant back to, which could have been even worse for Mouse. Yeah, it was a much heavier commitment than necessary, especially because they don't have global. 
if if Silencer was sick, then you can absolutely get away with that. But he's only level four right now, and he doesn't have any points in glaives either, so he's not dealing very much damage. Silencer showed up to uh, try to recover what was going on in the mid lane, but all he is is a curse. And again, really, in another sort of situation that was uh, the other way around, didn't work out for. Uh, Planted over with the, the Stark pick, but this game, I mean, you look at the Ember and you look at the amount of lockdown that Mass Quartz have, and they, they really don't have much at all in terms of stopping that Ember from being able to remnant out of out of danger. It, it could become quite a free game indeed for Kaiser. They will have one. Oh, swift ending versus Madara. Madara might die here. Oh my god. Wow. Big kill for Swift. Solo kill on the enemy position one, yes. Please. Oh, and look, Kaiser didn't even go for any points in Slide. Oh, he didn't in the end, did he? Okay. He had that early root, which owned yeah, the Bane. It, it did. Spartan going for a kill on Swift Ending, but he's going to TP out just in time. Spartan needs to find six. This Ember is going to start balling out of control if they don't get global up and yeah. running. Yeah, this Ember is going to get really scary. He's at a... At least bait a six. So they can just use the uh, grip plus global combo to kill the Ember, actually. Sure. That's a pretty good combo. Yeah. If they have the burst. I don't... I mean, that's the thing. Do they actually kill him in that duration? That's I got mass numbers I don't there. know. Yes. If he's got the flame guard up, I think he's fine most of the time. At this yeah, stage. Yeah, I agree. Well, you've got pure from Brain Step. You've got pure from Sonic Wave. Still just not enough right click, I think. Though. Yeah, probably not. Especially if Thug goes for the Lincoln Shivas like he normally goes for. Oh, trying to make a play on bottom. Maybe They've next the time. Global. They have those two ults on the supports. There we have it. Global straight up, jump forward. There's the Fiend's grid to control Swift ending. J4 will reveal himself. Doesn't actually. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Was still silent stuff, so didn't get the chance to throw a stun out to have an attempt at saving Swift. They've lost two. Now with the sleep onto Milan, they could look to try and move in for more here. Sonic Wave flies through onto all three from Thug. They will lose the Bane, but Mouse, they'll find themselves the third kill as they take down the Dragon. Hmm. Shiro had a Tango. Did not eat his way out. To get more out of this, he's actually going to get cursed up here. He tried to turn and go aggressive onto Thug, but he's going to pay with his life. Spartan picks up the plus two. Three, three, surges Sprout. away, but the Sprout is out. Oh, oh, what? He ate the wrong tree. Oh, no, he ate one of them in the end because of the tree from Mother Nature herself. He couldn't get out of the Sprout. There's going to be a buyback. It will secure them the kill onto the Venno and the Quap. As Kaiser buys back to get himself re-involved with the fight. Can he get Spartan as well? He does a slight change up in a second. Remnants forward. MNC is there. Can he do anything to oh, it doesn't make the no. connection. Whoa. Ice Path does connect, though the slow. It's not enough. That's still a good buyback, though, because he didn't sure. get either of those kills, so it's not penalized. Phantom Lancer was able to get a kill, and I think the Darkseer got the other kill. Yeah. Dark 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 so YOLO. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he lived with, like, no way. He should not have really survived that, but he blinked out at the last second, right when his replica was about to kill him, and he went back in. And, yeah, I mean, it was probably worth it. They killed off the Darkseer weren't expecting a buyback and you know you still did force out a buyback on an ember spirit i still definitely got a bit of catching up to do though now because of that gold loss from that buyback top three on the borders we could see all over on now sports so thug has actually changed his build this game went for the um early staff maybe going for the yules i think the yules on the dispel uh, on the taking out Flame Guard and Ion Shell with one cast. Is and being able to take the root off yourself. Value. Yep, that's also very useful. Unfortunately, another, another pause here. Looks like Planet Dog are having a bit of an issue this game. Some of their tech, hopefully it gets resolved soon enough. Dude, he has 18 int again. He does. Yeah. He's silencer, start once so again. Is Silencer the truth? Apparently. I don't know how all these teams just get all these yeah. kills. Whenever I play Roaming Silencer, nothing happens. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you like try lane mid. It just breeds action. Yeah. Chaos. He still doesn't even have any points in Glaive, so once he finally skills that, he's actually going to start dealing a lot of damage as well. And he's got treads completed, full treads on a Silencer. He's having a good old time indeed. This boy hits hard. 
that also means that he's going to have plenty of money for like detection and stuff like that because we haven't really seen Nick Assassin do a whole hell of a lot recently. He's not getting aggressive on the enemy side of the map. It's mainly just trying to disrupt mouse sports aggression by being like, hey, I'm a Nick Assassin, I'm here, you guys didn't know, but that's not how you want to have to play the hero. See if, uh, if they can catch Amalan in the middle lane. Coming forward. Madara ready to gear up for the push. Tier 1 in trouble. Can't stop this push. Yeah, very hard once again for Planet kind of Dog to do anything about this sort of plague wall push. And Mouse indeed will gear up on the middle lane, take the tier 1. See if anything can happen in return. What, what are they getting out of the map? Well, Planet Dog, they have swift innings, continue to farm down at bottom. Going for the defusal first. brown boot straight into defusal this game. Yeah. This is a hard game as PL. <laughs> Feels like there's no right answer to what to build first. It's actually got a TP across. The global will be popped immediately. MNT looking to find the control, and he will get it. Fiend's Grip's there, but the Ice Path comes out in return. They will be surrounded. Remnant forward jumps in, burst down two. It's going to be Planet Dog taking the two kills to kick things off. Ooh, he didn't get... I don't think he had his Venom ulti up. Skylark will TP out. Wow, they only lost two heroes? That's amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. I saw a lot of red HP bars going down. That Macrofire was so good. And Fiend's Grip was a little bit optimistic. It's like they saw the PL and immediately they were like, oh god, we have to global. Things are about to go wrong. And then after they globaled, they saw that the enemy team was not really in a position to fight, but they were like, well, now that we've used this high cooldown spell, maybe we should go for some kills. Bane went for the Fiend's Grip on PL, but by that time, like, one and a half seconds of the silence were already over, and Jakiro canceled it with the Ice Path. Everyone was trying to kill the PL, and in a pretty crappy position, but yeah, they only lost two heroes. And they still got one kill. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the PL though, but it's still one kill regardless. And got the tower. Not denied. And Poison Nova is up and running since he wasn't able to use it in that. Poison Nova fail. Let's see if they can do anything in top lane. Very hard to do so without the global. And uh, at the least, he's pulling Swift Denning back. J4, he's found himself Spartan. Vacuum's there from 3-3, trying to go in. Skylark will come in with the reaction, takes the Nightmare off, allowing the rest of the team to go to Ham and uh, get the kills. They take down the next Assassin, the rest of them on the retreat. Ice Path holds back the Bane. Do they really want to move up to this? This is fighting into a Shrine. Mouse say yes. Thug jumps bow boldly up to the high ground, shoving. Planet Dog away from their own shrine. They'll turn, slight and change to do, but there's the Fiend's Grip. Uh, on top of that, the Ice Path from Milan cancelling the channeling. Will buy time for Kiza to escape, but the rest of Planet Dog in trouble. Milan getting left behind. The Poison Nova will be dropped onto Swift Ending. Does connect onto him. Spartan's fallen, but Swift Ending, he just can't deal with that massive amount of damage coming from the ultimate. He ticks down. Kiza comes back in, the but remnants. he doesn't have another, another, another remnant. He's relying on the Flame Guard and the Stick Charges to keep him alive. It's not going to be enough, though. They will kill Thug, but the Ember loses his life. J4 sprouted up as well. The Nyx Assassin down as Madara picks up a triple kill. Kill. And Mouse Sports uh, is showing us that you can take a fight by the enemy shrine. You just shove them away, out DPS them, and rely on some of them coming back in uh, in very awkward situations. You know, the decision from Ember to return to that fight with no real way of getting out, it was pretty much suicide for Kazan. Madara bullied the crap out of them. He was like, okay, I'm going to run up to the shrine. If you guys stay yeah. to take the shrine, I'm going to poison over all of you guys. So they just had to pop the shrine and immediately run away. That is not value. They didn't think the fight was going to continue. They were yeah, like, they okay. <laughs> they were not ready. The Dark Seer was like, okay, I'm po I got hit by the Venomous Gale. I have a Shadow Strike on me. Let's just get a shrine and just peace out. And then Quap blinks in onto the shrine. And they're just like, uh, okay, we're going to have to continue running now. Dark Seer was just like flipping around. He didn't know whether to go south or west. I don't even know if well, did all five dog heroes died at the end, right? It was just like kind of staggered. But. Uh, oh, let's do the maths. That's uh, a one. J4 died, Case died, Swift Denny died, Milan died. They did not lose the Darkseer. Oh, okay. So, but four. Yeah. Amusing, actually. And does Darkseer, yeah, he has his hood completed and he's going straight for the pipe, definitely the right call. <laughs> Oh, J4 on the scout again. Checking the progress over here. Just have to be careful if it comes 
Ember does not have BOTs yet, does he? No. No, no. he's for going for Yules. He's going for Yules, okay. Well, that kind of sucks for Nyx Assassin. He's not going to be able to kill anyone. Yeah. With Ion Shell, maybe? No. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. They are lacking physical damage, though. Once this pipe comes out from Venno, too, they're going to have even more. Actually, he just completed he's got it. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here they go. They know the Trine's down. It's a good time to fight. It really is. Or kick complete for Skylark as well. So extra methods of catching the Ember. Yeah, as he is still here. indeed quite a far mile away from having their duels. Yeah, I'm really liking Mouse's itemization here. All their heroes are moving along with the game cleanly. Oh, time to start on Roche again. I'm very surprised they don't have a Blightstone, actually. I think it would have helped a lot with these early pushes. I think uh, maybe Skylark could have picked one up. He does have the spare slots, but here they go slowly with Phantom Lancer Illusions. But how do they actually walk inside the pit? Darkseer is actually showing on top. So without Darkseer, I don't think they can contest at all. No, they have to let this go. The bad kind of let it go. Are yeah. they going to smoke? Yeah, okay. Here they go. Darkseer is in. I don't know about this. They're going to go for it. Hey, it might be too Dark slow. Have his pipe? It's too slow. Does Darkseer have his pipe finished? Nope. Oh, God. I don't know about it's this. It's a very awkward five minutes to try and take, and it's not going to come soon enough. Mouse. Finish up Roche, grab the edges. Now they fight, but all straight into the global. The Poison Nova clips a couple of them. The Fiend Scripts there onto the Ember Spirit. He's gone straight away. Sonic Wave flies through onto three. Swift Denning trying to find MNT. Will take down the Bane, but gets the Shadow Strike out onto Milan. The Scream comes out. They've lost three on both sides here. So despite the situation with Spina falling as well, that is an incredible fight. Four for four. You were fighting into Aegis. Swift Denning survives, though. I, I feel like you're kind of happy if you're if you're Planet Dog going into a fight against all odds, and as you said, Tsunami missing some key items, but you still kill four of Mouse Sports and you keep Swift Denning alive. Yeah, that was surprisingly strong. The global silence came out, and Planet Dog wasn't really in a position to do anything about it. Ember Spirit was the most out of position on Dog, so they just decided to converge on the Ember Spirit. But Jakiro has been the em like Jakiro, in my opinion, is single-handedly keeping Dog in the game because his yeah. Ice Pass and Macro Pirates have been on point every single time on choke points. Ew, plus 75 spirit lance damage. Maybe he wants. Oh, yeah, he wants I mean, Aghanim Scepter. If you go for the axe, surely you take it. Yep. I, I think the attack speed's better regardless. Really? The, the attack speed like is really good. Like 75 is just very negligible. I think so. Yeah. I, I suppose they have a veil, so he gets some extra value out of it. Madara might die again in here. Nice pass straight up. There's the vacuum onto three. Do they have to the follow up? Madara still surviving for the time being. Silence onto the Ember Spirit. 3-3 three, three, trying to surge himself away. Will escape the Sprout. Trapping up the Ember Spirit for the time being. But Swift Ending moves straight in onto MNT. They do lose the Darks here. But MNT cannot be protected as Swift Ending moves in. Finishes him off. Looking for the next target now potentially. Jumps onto Madara. Has the Diffusal Blade charge. Benno fairly tanky. Has the guild to slow them down. Now out of mana taking minimal damage. But he, ooh, he should fall. And indeed with a doppelganger jump for Swift Ending finds him. But at the same time the rest of Mouse are cleaning up the rest of Planet Dog. Ember up onto the high ground, has that shrine, but Thug jumps forward, he's looking to finish it, he's, no, he's not going to, he's going to tick out by the flame guard, he is! Kiza turns, gets the kill, and now Spartan deep on the high ground, he will only just TP himself away. But a crazy fight there for both teams, still ticking down low, that second availability of the shrine does keep him alive. I can't believe he survived that. That's crazy. Some very, very all over the place fights going on. You know, we had Swift diving the tier one, taking kills here, but at the same time, the rest of Mouse focusing the remainder of Swift's team as they follow them back to base. Which I don't think they should be. I was going to say, with Quop losing her life, Swift ending getting a fair well, bit out of the kills. I think, again, this is, it's on the up for Planet Dog. Yeah, well, diving was definitely excessive, but as it is, Swift ending should not be able to bully your supports like that. You built an Orchid on Nature's Prophet, this PL should not be able to do anything. You Queen of Pain is able to immediately clear out all these illusions. Like I know it's tempting to go for the Ember Spirit more often than not, but PL is going to become a larger and larger issue if you allow him to just jump yeah. all over your back lines. He nearly has his Aghanim Scepter completed after Level that. Level 18, the illusions are going to be real. Uh, what? That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> the dust into self-nightmare. 
Looks like it doesn't matter though. With Skylights even across, they'll still get the kill. MNT with the, the Nightmare Taunt. That'd be pretty cool if Bane had a taunt and you could do it while Nightmared. That'd be sweet. That would be good. There we go, TIA. They should create cosmetics that change your animation when channeling. So like Crystal Maiden or Bane or Rasta. But my glance value. My glance value. My glance value. It's true. <laughs> uh, yours is now finished on Ember, so he'll certainly feel a little safer. And yeah, now you definitely shouldn't go on Ember because your Orchid is not going to help against him. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely. You've got to do something about this PL. Because during the pick phase, you were like, "Oh, this PL absolutely needs a Manta style," and it does not seem to be the case. He doesn't have a Manta, and he's, yeah, he's not, not even going gonna for it. build one. Yeah, he's just starting up. I mean, for sure. Even with the heart, if even if he does get silenced, they have to. They'd have to literally focus everything on him. Exactly. Otherwise, he will still survive through the duration and get the time to play away from it. And seeming like a strong build and strong play from Swift this game. Eight, eight, eight two, four on this PL. And only a 2k, 3k lead for Mouse Sports. So, indeed, a lot closer than game one was. Itemization for Thug this game is Aghanims going Central. going straight for that Aghanims. Yeah, I thought either yeah. that or Shivas would have been fine. Yeah. Ben, what do you think? I like the eggs. You can. He might be able to cast two in a fight. Uh, actually, uh, 35.2 seconds. Yeah, it's close. But he can use that at the start of the fight as soon as he uh, double right. gangers. Yeah. Or just use it to like soften him up before yeah. you are ready to commit. The problem is PL already has eggs, so he's going to be propagating illusions at a, I think, much swifter rate than Queen of Pain can stop them. They need, he needs Maelstrom. On and he building one? Oh, has one. Courier. Yeah. And a Mjolnir is going to be super Milan, valuable. no! Your intel! What? No, Spartan ran away! Oh. He didn't get it. Okay. Was he well. in range? I don't think so. Worth didn't lose intel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a team player. Spartan was like, guys, I'm going to tank whatever will come up next. I don't need the end. I have 30 already. Which is actually pretty damn good. Ah, it's pretty crazy. Still early stage game. There's been a lot of chaos in this match. 21 24, 25 minutes in. Tier 2 will be taken from Mouse. They've still got 26, 26 to play around. There's no Jakira to worry about for the, for the D push. And uh, they may just get Tier 3 out of this one as well on the bottom lane. Bringing it down low. 3 3 searching forward. We can see if we can find any sort of setup. So they'll start to poke and prod. That Spirit Lance change connects onto two. Three, three. Thinking about making a go with Spartan. Yeah, he's not messing around. Straight up, global, TP out, and everybody gets away. Wow. Very, very clean disengage. How did they all know to TP at the same time? I don't know. It's coordination. They all were speaking in Greek to each other. It's all Greek to them. One, two, three, TP! <laughs> Yeah, the global was a little bit preemptive, but I don't. I think, think I like it. You know, they were worried about that dark thing is, running the, up so and vacuuming. What's the Roche timer? Because if it if Roche is, uh, mm. it's a little bit dicey. So uh, yeah, if it's short respawn, it could could overlap indeed. About. I don't. Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, Planet Dog's Roche is awful. I think Peel's that's true, also yeah, one of the worst carries. Oh, yeah. they, they, yeah, they can't Roche at all. Oh my goodness! Sorry, Tito's boys and girls. I'd like to think I've been pretty good so far, but I did miss that one. I blame Ben. I do too. I'll, I'll set this flame. <laughs> we did not expect that. They counter smoked immediately. Yeah, coming straight across that deep on the map and catching out a Queen of Penny. That, that is beautiful. Oh, oh my god, those are so many illusions with the eggs. Don't you just love that sound, Owen? See, I like the sound, but I don't like the, the concept. <laughs> the sound is nice. He went Blink Dagger it, on PL. Did you like that? Yeah, I think the Bane and the Silence are going to have a lot of issues. Even yeah, if they Glimmer in. Cape, it can get immediately diffused off. Oh, is he going to? Oh, nice. Nice snipe of the T3. That's big. Skylark. Still well, getting things done with it. Even yeah. when the Quop's off. You yeah, know, now dead. you get access to that top shrine. Definitely loosens the grip on what is already a tenuous hold on the Roche Pit for Radiant. Every little helps. Get those plague wards down. Start tickling away at the shrine. Mech now complete for Darkseer on top of the pipe. So. Oh yeah, Phantom Lister has a magic resist talent too. Yep, and he's got that pipe from Darkseer as well. 
And he has 20 strength. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no good way to deal with it. No melee heroes to even build Battle Fury to cleave him down. And I guess they have two Mjolnir carriers. Yeah, the Static Shield is, I mean, the Static Charge is definitely going to help out. I definitely think he's looking a, a lot trickier for Mouse in this game, too. The lineup from Planet Dog showing its strength. Swift ending. If he does get that heart online, yeah, as you mentioned, along with that magic resistance, it's going to be very hard for Mouse to deal with him uh, and deal with him quickly at the start of the fight. He is going to be ready to go, ready to turn, ready to play. Yeah, unless there's a good quap ult. I mean, even then, yeah. I mean, it just it's, it's going to scale off with the way that this PL is building. I assume, what, 500... 55 pure damage isn't going to be too much at all for a PL. It's going to be sitting on to, to nigh on 3k plus health with that heart once it comes out. With PL, you don't actually need to kill him. You just need to stop him from uh, making illusions, which is you need to clear the first wave and then you need to get him low enough so that he can't man up. But I don't think they're going to be at that point. Maybe next time. Quick sentry. Holds back the next assassin. Doesn't want to stick around those. But there is going to be backup behind. You just have to split push planet, planet dog now if you're mouse words. Even though you have a silencer, five on five engagements are not your friend anymore. Plus four tree at summon. That's such a good talent. But is it as good as plus six? Let's see. I mean, is there are mouse sports on a timer? This game, like, mm. will this PL inevitably out carry the? What? Yeah, I, think I mean so. the PL and Ember. Yeah, with the PL and Ember, it's 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 only going to get worse for mouse. They have a pretty good lead though. They already took out bottom shrine. They, they already took down they the do. T3. So, yeah, I think their timeline is maybe like 50 plus minutes. Maybe maybe even slightly shorter than that. 45, I think. Well, if he gets like butterfly heart, it's so difficult to stop him. Venno falls off though against yeah. this dog lineup. Definitely. And Venno's also going for Mjolnir to clear, help clear these uh, okay. PL illusions. That's a good idea. I think they should get a Shivas on their team also though. Uh, Quap's building Shivas. Oh, okay. She almost has it. And I don't know if it's entirely necessary, but Crimson Guard is also pretty useful against PL illusions as well. Yeah. But I don't really think Nature's Prophet is going to be interested in building it. They're not going to win the Outlast Ward, though, versus PL. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, maybe, hell, NP could go for, like, a Necro Book or something. Try no! Oh! oh. <laughs> Did I? Oh, my God. Denied. Okay, so it says that Milan got the gold for that. But I, that used to be a bug. If you deny your own shrine, you, you used to actually get the gold. Yeah, didn't you used you? to actually get the gold. I don't know if you actually do anymore. I'm pretty sure they fixed it. Okay. I'm pretty sure you, they did it because, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it doesn't make any sense really if they didn't. Well, I guess it's it's Dota. Things don't have to make sense. No. But uh, yeah, it would be weird indeed if that is still the case. But I think it should just be a visual bug. Agonims, the build for silence of this game. Is that the way to go? Hmm. Agonim Sons. I don't know. I prefer maybe another Glimmer. Lotus. Yeah, Lotus. Scythe. Scythe. Rod. Yeah, I think it's a little bit late for Atos. Refresher? I like Refresher a lot too. Oh yeah, Refresher would be good. Because no one on Radiant is building BKBs. Yep. And does Darkseer have Greaves? That is a yes. Okay. Oh, Madara! Oh, that's oh. a great one to kick the fight off finding. Global comes out. Is it going to be enough to save Madara? Will allow him the time to get off the ultimate, but now Sports, no interest to fight off the back of it. As he's, it's these little pickoffs like this, the Planet Dog find, which could lead to big things. MNT trying to go for the TP out, but 3 3 says straight away with the vacuum. Holds him back. We are going to see in a rat attempt from Skylark. We'll see how much he can get away from this push. He's just going to send the Treants in onto the racks. And Milan and 3 3 there to clean it out. Swift ending remains up top with the illusions, trying to finish off that tier 2. J4 still about. Mass TP's coming oh. in. Oh, he almost gripped. Is he 
is going to grab him. He doesn't Can't know which do one. It. There he gets him just in time. Thug coming through as well. Spartan, have they got the damage to do it? Swift falling low, silenced up. He's gone. MNT may fall, but they will take that mouse. Finding that very high value kill onto the Phantom Lancer. Carapace. Oh. Get him as well. So big, big hole for Mouse by that tier two. Double kill as they take down two and may find more. Skylark can't quite get any sort of lockdown immediately. Does have now that the silence, but with the Sprout already used, and Yule's still available for Kiza. He's unable to be trapped down. You could tell they called for it. Okay, let's just try and then maybe. Get, I think they can get Roast. PL yep. down for 40 yeah, seconds. It's a long time. Yep. I don't think. Well, yeah. Good play by maybe next time right there. Oh, uh, yeah, Silence has switched it up as well. He had an axe queued up, but Spartan will be going for the pipe. Yeah, just 100 gold away from having that complete for the team. Ever since they changed axe to not give you extra duration on global, yeah. I think it's not very good. Yeah. There we have it. Motion D. Take my mouse. Pipe complete. Oh man, Dyer have a really nice ward near the tier 3 bot on the Radiant side. I don't know when maybe uh, Skylark placed that, but that is super value. It makes life so much easier for Prophet to know when he's safe to be able to go for these kinds of rap plays. Oh, it's going to be even safer as well once he has that BKB. He can go a little bit more YOLO. To the point of even maybe throwing his life away sometimes to secure racks. Could be good. Nadara, a few hundred gold away from the completed Mione. Shiva's guard now out for Thug. J4 on the hunt. See if he can spot out, get some valuable information for the team. I guess you just wait for Silencer Pipe. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Just, just finished it after the rush. Oh, well, yeah. okay. And now Nature's Prophet has BKB completed. So this could be go time. Yeah, it could but be. You got Aegis, you got Cheese, you got items completed. Let's see where they head. Bottom lane already. Get the silence on the end, but do they have any follow-up? They don't. In fact, J4 turning around with the stun onto two will cause some issues. Yours? Tries to go for the TP, but indeed the Yule's there from Thug holds back J4. And they will punish the Nyx Assassin. With the Nyx kill, Skylark with the kill secure. With the Nature's Wrath. How smart is the silencer right now? He's got to be up there in the 30s, yeah. 36. Stolen intelligence at this stage for Spartan. He'll be very happy with the way that this game's going at least for himself overall though definitely as we've been saying game two looking a lot better for planet dog swift ending's getting bigger and bigger has that heart complete on the road to the manta style as well and then with manta and heart as we talked about at the start with any sort of lack of hard stuns and hard lockdown other than the the fiends grip really it's it's going to be potentially a very free fight for for swift ending he can he can go in and out wherever he, wherever he wants and it's only if really the whole team around him dies He's going to start having issues. Which it's might be the case with all these Mjolnir's coming out. Oh. Nice. That's a big catch. Finding him there, hiding in the tree line. MNT with the Fiend's Grip. And an Ember now down with no buyback. Zico fully in on the purchases. This could be painful for Planet Dog. Immediately, Mass Sports moving straight down towards this bottom lane. Can Planet Dog hold these racks? Oh, Nature's Prophet TPing high ground. The Thug just comes in straight away. Yeah, Skylight looking for the wraparound from behind. The Global comes out. Sonic Wave flies through onto three. The Wall's down. Does get three in return. But do they have the damage to bring down Mouse in response to this play? BKB popped by Skylight. The Poison Over comes out. They've lost the Jakiro as well. J4 in trouble as he tries to make his way back to the base. Ticking down to the Curse. Thug jumps forward to finish off the kill. Swift Denning looks to punish the Queen of Pain play. But Thug has the Yules. It's very low on the mana, can't quite blink out, but it doesn't matter by the looks of it. He'll just turn back towards the racks with the rest of Mouse. They've found the range racks. Swift standing, jumping in with the doppelganger. Oh, Skylar wow. sprouts himself, goes for the TP out. Can't make it, though. Vacuum holds him back. They do get the racks, but they are paying with their lives. Three down on Mouse. Doug should fall as well. Does have that Aegis. Can he go with any sort of big play to get out for round two? Madara watches from the Root. sideline. He will TP out. There's the chains. The Yules is there. Have they got any further catch? I don't think they should do. He's a little low on the mana for the chase. They need another chains. Okay, they've got it. Kayser comes in with the remnants, finds the quap. They make Mouse pay for it, but Mouse did get the racks.
That Poison Nova came out a little bit late, I think. Um, initially they had started with a really solid flank because of that high ground ward that was placed earlier. Nature's Prophet was like, okay, if I come in from the low ground and we just go for a global, then between our three static charges, well actually two static charges, I don't know how many Mjolnir's they have, either two or three. Just, just two at the moment. Okay, so two. They put him on immediately, PL was like, okay, you guys have these Mjolnir's up, I'm not really interested in fighting you. They all back off and they don't really take that much damage because Venomancer didn't put a poison open on anyone. Then the fight kind of re-engages, but Darkseer was still alive, Phantom Lancer was still alive, and the mouse board supports have to back off. And yeah, they do get the racks, and it's a pretty solid engage. Hopefully Quap won't have to buy back for this. You should be okay losing the tier 3, I don't know if you're okay losing a Rax. But Venno! Rewards. At what level is Venno? 21, okay. PL just hit 25 and got the 20 strength talent. Closing in on that Manta purchase as well after upgrading the defusal first. So a very close game overall. They were 38 minutes in, only a 5k lead for Mouse, as well as being a racks up. But Planet Dog do have ways of pushing it back out. Ember feeling like he needs to build very defensively as he's, he's going for that BKB as well as the Yules this game. I mean, you, is BKB certainly the way you wouldn't have liked to see maybe something like a Lincoln Sphere come out? Their magic, their non-magic damage is really bad. Yeah, but Fiend's Grip is being really Oh, that's what's killing him, you know what I mean? Yeah. At least when he's split pushing, yeah. Bane is funny, really good setups with his Glimmer Cape. He has 20 now, though, so he has the armor talent. And then they're they're having a Lotus Orb come out soon on Nick's Assassin, so... I okay. think if you itemize you versus are, yeah. grip, you won't do enough damage. That's true. But, yeah, BKB, he can just run in there. Because they just need to stall for, like, I would say 10, 15 more minutes. And I think, like, yeah, your BKB charge is going to be 5 very, very quickly. But if you get past the next phase of the game and then PL gets 6 slotted, I think you have a really good shot of winning. Whereas Mouse, they got one Rax, but it, they incurred heavy casualties I taking really it down. Did. Skylark. Eyes on the Scythe of Vice next. Extra bit of catch for that Ember, for that PL. Absolutely crucial at this stage. To take at least one of those out of the fight very early on. As they'll be able to cause mass havoc. We'll see a smoke play now from Mouse, Thug, Spartan, and maybe next time. Ready to go. As they head straight down into the jungle, potentially. They do have to be careful if they go over. As the full lineup, a planet dog is there and waiting. So at least getting some wards out. Getting that map coverage and preparing for this move that's coming in. Unlikely to really be able to go for a, a play. I mean, MNT is leading forward. There's a lot of people backing up Swift Ending. He does not want to go on this. Swift Ending, in fact, jumping forward, wants to go on them. Moving in. Ward down. They've got that gem, though, out on Jakira. So immediate, immediate D ward there of what Mouse tried to get up. And Planet Dog reclaiming the map. And with that, uh, with that gem, I'll suddenly continue to do so. This map is going to get much harder for Mouse to come out and look for those sort of movements. I think PL might do it this game. It's looking good for Swift. It really is. 10-3-70 played the lane perfectly. The itemization seems to be absolutely bang on for, the, for this game. And there's very little Mouse can do about it. Once Quark gets level 25, she should be in a pretty good spot, though. Mjolnir. Oh wait, she doesn't have Mjolnir yet. Never mind. Yeah, she's going for BKB instead. I thought that, that's why I was like, oh, do you have three Mjolnirs? Because I thought Quap Mjolnir is such a obvious solution. I, I guess the roots of Ember Spirit are kind of irritating, and kind of I'm assuming why she's gearing up for a BKB. I think it, it might get diffused off to the Mjolnir, and oh, then that's it, true. in which case you can't survive. That's a good point. Oh, Roche not up, and Swift Ending has DD. That's 40 minutes, double power runes. I am spiking like crazy, Owen. Are you? Yeah, we're getting a lot like here okay. as well. Yeah. Like the server's being weird. 
I've noticed it in a few of the games. I'm sure Valve will fix it. Well, it could be our internet as well. So I do apologise for the slight lag of forgetting it on your end at home. But uh, hopefully you can still follow what's going on overall. It's, it's not too bad at all. And both teams starting to calm down a little bit. MNT is on a deep on a warning mission. mission. Does anyone on Radiant have a gem? They do. Jakiro. Jakiro's got the, got the gem for the side. Okay. And uh, in return, I think, yeah, we're looking at uh, Spartan trying to buy one for his own team. And then MNT will have to cram this one. So, away. so what's the play from MNT? Is he dropping, dropping walls, TPing out? Yeah. Uh, he's not going to stick around for any sort of cheeky play with this lane pushing in with the Skylark? You mm. could. I don't think they have enough damage to kill Ember. No, well, if he comes back to defend. Maybe? With Nature's like Prophet TPing in, it's possible, but it's a risky play. It's really risky. They could easily lose both and then lose Roach and then lose the game yeah, if it goes exactly. south. Like, he looks like he's sitting in the fountain eyeing up somewhere to go to. It's a possibility. They could try and sneak in. No tier twos on the other lane. Yeah, I mean, ideally, if for them, someone like Jakiro comes back to defend bot, then it's free. If Ember comes back, you're risking a lot. And if Peel comes back, I don't think it happens. Yeah. I think it's more so just easy vision for MP so he can get some free chip on the T3. You need to end this game soon for Mouse. I would Definitely. say with next Aegis is like your ideal timing, but I doubt it's going to work that smoothly for them. It's getting to that hairy point in the game where you're like, crap, where you, we're going to have to deal with PL when we don't really, when we never really wanted to get this phase in the game. And let's see. We'll see what they go for. See if Skylight does indeed come down. What's this draw hey, drawing here, really? Let's try and decipher it. Let's I mean, they have pretty good high ground defense. You've got Venom Wards, you've got Aghanim Scepter, Sonic Wave, you've got Wrath of Nature, you've got Treants to be able to kind of mess around with creep aggro. PL shrugs all that off, though. The hero does, but your creep wave still needs to get there. Yeah. He can he can tank in <laughs> almost indefinitely, though. I don't really think uh, he's that scared. They are, they're having issues dealing with the lanes, though. Uh, I guess the, at least they have Ember Spirit with BOTs. He's very good at dealing with the lanes, and PL almost has BOTs. So he should be ready soon. But Roche. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Back in. Skylark. Where is he going to head? That's the question. MNT, yeah, does just indeed drop the wards, get out. As she said, just open up possibilities for future plays. Well, Skylark TP's in on the left side, summons 9 Triant, throws him on to. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Especially when he gets level 25. I mean, how much is this going to get done? About a half lot. the tower? Unhealable damage. Right. Nine Triants. And Ember BOT to the bot lane. He's not even doing anything about it. He's not respecting the Triants. Yeah, that's already half damage. You gotta respect these trants. Hell, maybe you should go to Aghanim Scepter if you're Nature's Prophet. I don't think you should, but... He's need to go to the Hex, man. Yeah. So things... Definitely, I mean, it's definitely one of those games you, you, that when there's a Nature's Prophet in Whoa. the game, oh. you have to be so careful. So careful of how you move out on the map. You can't give Skylight the chance to... I mean, you, as, as we were saying, just get away with something like that. What, they didn't kill the Observer War? Oh, yeah. Wait. Maybe next time? Hello? There's an observer war right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Roche is back up. Yep. I think Mouse should just stall out the Roche. They shouldn't take Roche, because the fact that Radiant constantly has to be around the pit means that they're not pushing out their lanes. And Mouse boards can. I mean, they definitely don't want to give Aegis up to Phantom Lancer, because that's a disastrous situation. But you keep a tree in the pit, you keep a plague ward in the pit, you just maintain vision, and life's good. I want to spend, see Skylight spend some of his money. Still sitting down with a slot just holding a TP and a 1. How close is Quap to 25? Fair. How close is Venom to 25? Two levels. Okay. Sure. GG, no Midas life. Right. Oh, Venno's got an AC, that's really good. That's a lot of mitigation against PL's illusions. Okay, bottom waves pushed in. Planet Dog have to do something about this. I guess they can just send Ember back. 
so that's actually not that big a good deal for them. See where Sc if Scarlet's going to go for the same play. Where he goes Ooh. the top two or three? Yeah. yeah, likely. How are they not baiting this? It seems like it's so likely. It's because they don't want to leave the Roche pit. Yeah. Roche is almost certainly, I think it's been 11 minutes at least. So both teams definitely know that it's up. So Scarlet's going to hold back for the time being. They don't quite have eyes on the right about. So of the majority of the team, now they'll see the mid. Can't afford giving his life away on this nature's profit. Still has to play very careful. Time looks like at the moment. The catapults. Kill the catapults. Man, these level 25s. Definitely what some of the sides are waiting for. Clop has hers. Yeah. BKB done as well. So she'll feel that little bit safer in these in the team fights. So she's going to jump in on the middle lane. Oh, did she get uh, carapace? She, she's in trouble. she put the BKB. Global used as well. But that's, yeah, Quartz first BKB and the Global popped. And yeah, I think she just, by the looks of it, Thug maybe just got a little too trigger happy with the Arcane Room, wanted to make a use of the Sonic Wave. But yeah, and it just gets turned in his face by the Nyx Assassin. And he, he gets put in a very vulnerable position. Global is down now and Roche yeah. is up. Uh-oh. Well, he does not learn his lesson. So, yeah, this, if he does that once more, <laughs> this moment's going to teach him a pretty painful one. Around by the shrine. Careful. House. They just need Skylock to push in the lane and just yeah. waste their time a little bit more. They could have taken a fight on the shrine, but I still don't think they would have won with that positioning. It was really bad positioning for them. You don't think Dog can win a fight in the pit now that Global's done? Uh, oh, I definitely think Dog can. They're just worried about getting split push, I think. Uh, I, I think they're just not good at Roche. Ember and PL, that's just not enough damage. PL only does a lot of damage if his illusions can hit things. Right. And it's pretty late into the game, so Roche is quite tanky. He has 30 armor right now. And PL doesn't have like a Deso. I don't think there's a Solar Crest on Dog. Ooh, smoke play to the bottom lane. They could get a free kill on Swift ending, but they will instead go into the road as soon as they see PLTP back. Mid lane, Thug's going to jump in straight away, pop the BKB, force Amber to back up. A quick TP out from Milan, and again, it's just crisis averted. Yeah, but PL's already on his way back from the bottom lane, and they cannot do this Roche any longer. And your BKB is on cooldown for Pop now. She has been burning these BKB charges like candy. Uh, down a couple, pretty at much within the team. At least she's 25 now. So 25 on her, 24 on the Veno. Still needs those. Just a little bit for the 3x play ward. They need some additional help pushing out lanes. PL pushing out bottom. His BOTs are up. This is a really good time for Planet Dog. Minus the fact that top lane's pushing, but still pretty good spot. Madara gets scouted out. They don't have vision. J4 is just running around with. No gem in sight. Yeah, Venno somewhere else. Oh, Radiant Courier does. Nature's Prophet. Boost to travel. Mid lane. J4 opening up onto Spartan. Spartan. He's gone. And he does not have buyback. So that is no global for another 70 seconds with Silencer on the sidelines. And with that, they'll move into the Roche pit and they'll look to take it down as they know that there's no way the Mass Sports can fight around the pit. They're pushing top though. How much can they get done with this split push though? That's the question. J4 has already come back with the Vendetta. They don't have vision upon him. J4 will find Skylark in the side of it all. Can he get his way out of this one? He's being stunned up, taken down. The mouse starting to crumble. Losing big heroes at key points. Dara pops the poison over, but Swift Denning just mans up. Beats down upon the Venomancer as with Dara Hill. With the Shrine, can he survive? The Sonic Wave does come through with a three-man vacuum wall. As KZ jumps forward as well with the Remnants. They do get the Fiend's Grip off. MNT with the Glimmer Cape actually doing it here, holding him back. The Hex comes in from Skylark. They've actually killed off the Ember Spirit. He did have to buy back for that play, though. And Mouse still losing the mass casualties. MNT and Thug falling low. Milan tries for the Ice Path, won't get the connection. So overall, again, Planet Dog certainly coming out on top of these fights. 
Skylark opting to buy back to kill the Ember Spirit. It is a big kill, but overall it won't stop the momentum of Planet Dog getting this Roshan and keeping overall control of this game as it enters they the later stages. They want to contest stages. it. They've got global oh, up. Can they do, oh, can they do it? This is such a slow can they do? Oh I mean, God. Doug, he's Blinks jumped in. in. He's in trouble. The global comes out. Can they save him? Vacuum onto two. There's the nightmare. MNT buys him some time. Madara being surrounded, but he's forced up to the high ground. The chains onto two. Kaiser focusing MNT. The spirit swift ending for PL finds one. They'll get the second. That's going to be a dieback on the Venomancer. Out for 100 seconds. Spartan will be allowed to walk back. Look Your at this, racks. though. They lost the racks. A successful rat takes a second set away from Planet Dog. Have they finished Roche? Yeah, uh, it's it's still up. Yeah, it's at like 25%. Mal, I, they're pulling them apart. They're throwing bodies at them, and it's it's working. Yeah, that was a dieback, but I think it's absolutely worthless. Absolutely. If you stop them from getting Roshan, you get the space for the rat to, to occur. I, even though a lot of mouse died, you're actually okay with this. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's a very crazy game, this one. It's still less than a 1K like, net worth yeah. advantage for Mouse Sports. Oh my goodness. I mean, it, the fact that Mouse Sports themselves still have all tier 3s, have all the racks, you know, despite the, 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 the fact that there is such this massive PL on the board. Back to Roche. <laughs> I mean, it's global like down. Six minute Roche. This is never ending. <laughs> Swift ending is Groundhog Day. I Roche. mean, is there any way they can get back over and. Uh, is, is he going to get it this time? He may get it. I think he's going to get it, but they can't push out the lanes. Like, top yeah. lanes pushed in, bottom lanes pushed in. Yeah. And, okay, double damage. This should be it. Right. Bye, Roche. Your time was good. What does he drop for this? Ooh. Ag? I think he dropped the Ag. 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 Oh, they don't give they it don't to give him. They don't give it to him. They give the uh, Aegis to Kaiser uh, and the Cheese to 3-3. Three, three. Oh yeah, Ember just bought back, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I guess this PL is very unlikely to die, as we've seen. It's very hard to bring him down. How many defusal charges is that? Four? Four left. Okay. Oh, Vino's so close to 25. And it's, they're definitely, he definitely gets the triple. Yes. There's no yeah, reason yeah, yeah. for the 40% is No, game. not versus PL. PL's no. Phantom Rush is like, okay. yeah, doesn't care. Ember also doesn't really care that much. What is Nature's Profit building? No idea. What the heck's just saving for buy? Oh, I guess it's still on cooldown. For five he minutes. might have to save for Dezo in case it devolves into a base rush. Or which a base race. Entirely likely. Yeah, which is... Uh, yeah, fair. That's, a, that's a quite likely chance in this game. I, st I, I still have no clue who's going to win. I see. Yeah, it really could go both ways. Yeah, Planet Dog easily win a team fight. But Malice are just not going to let it get to that point. And now that Venom's 25, he can stall the high ground even more so than they were before. Yeah, as long as Veno and Nature's Prophet are, are alive and they don't die back, which Madara did die back, and his buyback is on cooldown for four and a half minutes. Same yeah. thing with Nature's Prophet. They just need to sit in their base. Don't do anything. As it is, enemy team already has Roche. You just yeah. set up shop nice and cozy inside your high ground. This is just where Nyx just becomes Useless. so... Incapacitating. You you just fear for your life every time you want. You want to make a play on this mid racks. You want to get megas and then you play from there. But I, I don't think they can take that risk at all. Wait, so you're saying that Nix is like super useful right Yo, now? Oh yeah, I think he's super useful. Like these heroes, like you can't carry a gem. It's so late into the game. These heroes are six slotted. You can't carry vision around, and you need to be able to push out the lanes. Pushing out the lanes is the only thing stopping Planet Dog from running at you with his H's and cheese and ending the game right now. They can end it. Like if they win a fight, they can just go T3, T4 throne. They don't even take down the racks right now. But they're pinned inside their base. Mid lane is finally pushed out. Bottom lane is pushed out by Kaiser. He does have a remnant back. And top lane's in a very good spot, so I think this is it. Four minutes left on the buybacks of these two big cores. Actually, only three minutes now. And the wall of Venom Wards is making life miserable. I mean, how do you deal with these Venom Wards? You don't. It's, you this is you kill it's a problem. You, do, you deal with them by making sure they can't spawn. And this is even Look how many wards there are, yeah. though. Yeah. Imagine if you got like an Octarine or something. Combined, they have like 10,000 HP. 
No, they do get the drag back onto Sparta, Whoa. bringing him out of the base there. Can he get himself back to safety? Will be forced up to the high ground. Protective Nightmare trying to buy him time, but he doesn't have the mana here for the Global Silence. He'll get himself to the Shrine, turn around as Doug comes in with the Sonic Wave. Still the mana ticking up, not quite enough for Global. BKB's out from them all. 3-3 being forced out of the base. They didn't need the Global at the end of it all. Nature's Wrath flies through. Kaiser ticking down low because of the Arcane Curse. Turns around with the Slight, trying to survive. The Root will be there onto Thug. Kaiser still has that Aegis, of course, trying to man up with the last bit of his life, and he will use it. The Aegis is popped. Global. Skylock's forced two heroes back, though. And there's the Global into the Fiend's grip. Straight up control onto the Ember post Aegis. The Hex is there as well onto J4. They get themselves the double for Thug. And Mouse, they hold once again. They use both their shrines. It's the Venom Ward wall. Is this ridiculous? But th yeah, that double shrine saved them so hard. Keeping that silencer alive, making sure they have that global for that second round. Yep, smart move from Skylark, though. Yeah. He he has to pressure the buildings because, uh, yeah, because they would just get mega at that point if no one came back. Do you know how Spartan ended up outside of the base? I think it got vacuumed out. It did lag, but it, I think we was I okay. think he, he, he dragged him out with the back in. So uh, all the force, but it, 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 definitely 3-3 three, three looked to be the one that did it. He went for a no teleportation cooldown. Oh, that's so good, actually, this game. And there's no yeah. buyback on Ember. He was the one carrying the Aegis. He does yeah. have not have buyback for two minutes. This could be it. 60 seconds. Can they hold? There's no next assassin as well for 30. How many defusal charges does he have? Three. Okay. Is it enough to hold? Run away, Spartan. Those illusions. BKB coming out from Thug. He's just focusing the racks here. Poison Nova comes out. The Hex there as well. 3-3 trying to force back Spartan. He's focusing the Silencer away from the rest of his team, but it doesn't matter because Thug just jumps forward, clears the wave out with the Sonic Wave. That's going to be the final set of racks falling. They'll get themselves what they wanted to get. They don't mind if they lose heroes now. They got the objective they were after. They will lose Madara that the mega creeps are out in full force for Mouse Sports. Can they punish this more planet dog? They do find Spartan. They need more out of this. Mouse Sports do have two down without buyback, but it is just the Venom and the Bane. All they need to do is creep skip in one, or creep skip the lane that they're trying to push and I think they can hold. All they need to do is wait for Venom to be up in 70 seconds and then he'll have buyback once he's up. Actually, he has buyback in 30, so they only need to hold out for like 30 more seconds. But here comes the YOLO push for Planet Dog. But it's not even a YOLO push I mean, because they can still hold Megas. And with the build as well from Swift and Swift, so you know, he doesn't do that yeah. much damage to Roche. They don't really do that much damage to, to buildings. They nope. need a lot of time to actually take structures away from Mouse. Yeah, and they still haven't even broken the T3s. Well, at least he has heart, so he can tank Megas indefinitely. Oh, Thug. Uh-oh. This is a big kill. Do they have the chain control? With the Abyssal Blade, bringing him down low is not enough. He gets the chance to BKB, blink up to the high ground. Holds back the Nyx Assassin with the Yule Swift ending. Gets the bash though. Does he have the damage? Yes, with the mana burn, they do. No well, chance for back. a further blink. They take him down. That's actually not that bad because he bought time for Venno to not have to use his buyback. I guess he has to trade his buyback in return. But it's Space created. Space created, okay. yeah. And oh, Skylark teeping down to bottom lane. Milan just gets destroyed. Nice Lotus. Oh, wow. Awesome. What a Lotus. Pig That's on pig action. No gem. Milan outplaying Skylark. Wow. Okay, well, here we go. T3. And their glyph is actually not up right now. I guess it doesn't really matter if T3 falls. Yeah. It's a Glob slow siege, that. though. Their but shrines actually aren't up oh, either. PO does no damage to this enfeeble. Did he go for the Enfeeble talent? I don't know. Oh, no. This tower is barely losing HP. The vacuum. Oh, that's a beautiful oh setup there God. with the vacuum wall stun onto two. In fact, they just lose them straight away. They're going to be both down. They both have to buy back along with the Queen of Pain. They do not want to lose a set of racks. It can MNT get the grab. He does. He finds the real one straight up with the Fiend Script. Sonic Wave's there as well. Swift ending left behind. He'll try and turn and keep himself alive. He's still very tanky with that heart. Doppelganger. He's in his pack turning and going aggressive, trying to bring someone down with him, but it's not going to be the case. He gets Hex and gets taken down. No PL for 90 seconds. He does have buyback. Mouse used three buybacks for that hold, though. If, in, if there's some way the Planet Dog can kill those heroes again, 
There definitely is a chance for a Planet Dog themselves to again barrel down the mid lane, but they have to try and get these heroes and cause these diebacks to fall into place. Wow, that Roshan respawned too. Two and a half minutes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it sucks for mouse sports. I think they should just chill out. I mean, they've got to play it safe. If they, yeah, if they, they chill out, though, PL's just going to run at them with buyback and then just sacrifice his life to trade for theirs. Because... Yeah. Okay. It, it's it's not a good spot for mouse. Like, they're, they have megas, but I still think PL can easily win this game. Because... The only th the reason why he died there was like one v five, but I don't really know why Mouse Sports were getting so close to Dog. Like Queen of Pain had not bought back, and yeah, it was a really yeah. nice vacuum by Darkseer, but you didn't even need to be that close to begin with. I think they could have just waited by the T fours, right? Uh, and just lose one, even two sets of Rex is not the worst thing in the world. Obviously, I think you defend if they're going for the third set, but uh, yeah. What do you think about this build on Skylight? I, I don't think I've ever seen a hero have Bloodthorn and a Daedalus. Yeah, I'm actually curious about that because Daedalus does not help you against towers or structures. I was gonna surely something like a. a what else would I it mean, be? Uh, MKB. I, I was gonna Nessalator. say. I wondered if you maybe just shift clicked it mm. and then was gonna. MKB makes much more sense. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even go for an evasion talent on Phantom Lancer, so they don't have any evasion. I think sure Death would be better. But a butterfly, a butterfly maker, mate. With with the way this game's going, there's no sign of it ending anytime soon. Yep. It could go on and on, and uh, evasion certainly could come out later. Yep. So having that MKB, Peel safe. But bet. now he doesn't have buyback. I guess he. He's, cl he's very close. Peel very close. is kind he's of close. married to this Aghanim scepter now because you have to deal with mega creeps. Yeah. I prefer butterfly over eggs. What to do Agus? with megas? Yeah, because you have you have attacks. You have heart. But so dude, look at those illusions. Yeah, you have to propagate so many illusions. You have to stay in a lane to make sure you can spawn a bunch of illusions. Oh yeah. Whereas yeah. you can just toss a lance and then peace out. I think you can toss a lance and peace out with a uh, with butterfly. Yeah, I think uh, it's, this is where you're like, okay, 75 Spirit Lance damage is yeah, doggo. <laughs> well, at the same time, I'm. Sh what do you think is the... If, if 25 was hit now for Nature's Prophet, do you think he would still go for a teleport cooldown? I think because they're all on objective-based gaming, right? And he he's able to pull them around the map. That's how they won the majority of the fights, by actually making it a 3-on-5 when true. it should have been a 5-on-5. Five five. Yeah. So it's not... It's, it's not useful for actually winning the fights, and he's not actually sending his trance there. He has to physically go there, right. and it's really awkward when you don't have your TV scroll up. When you go in, you're like, uh, I'm just going to die here. But here they go. Another push. Smoke down the mid. This could be a big one. Oh, Thug. Uh -oh. Are they going to catch it? Oh, there we have the global, though, comes out immediately. The poison nova is going to catch them. The vacuum wall, though, onto three into the ice puff. Mouse sports. They lose three, four that's immediately. That, that, that's game. And that is looking like it certainly could Skylark be. Skylark just plays out of his mind right He's now. He's got to put the, uh, all the amount of pressure in the world on if he wishes to hold on to this game. The last man alive. This is such a long this time. This is the most stressful thing <laughs> for Nature's Prophet possible. You There's don't know where you're time. safe. You don't know where you should go. I mean, look at this though. Planet Dog aren't really amping up the pressure massively. They are. They're they looking to, to play it safe and There's hunt down Skylar. One range oh creep. God. Oh, they've got him. The oh. stun connects. Three, three moves into. They have the chain control. They do with the ducks. Is hex. Back. He's out. He has to buy back. He does indeed. The creeps yeah, they, now coming in. They're going over. for the game. They realize that the buyback is not there on the rest of them. Keys are in swift ending. Finding the tier four. Where's this MP gonna go? Oh, he's actually going in the base. Okay. He has he's to. Killed one. There's no other way that you'll win this. You have to force him back away for your teammates to buy to come. I mean, it's but. he's buying some time. There will be a bane backup. Can Skylark really create the space to keep this game going? They have Cliff up in one second, so they have a little bit of time. I think, is, could he actually hold on to the state of this? I think that yeah, they're. I mean, can is this game over? Uh, I think it's over. Is it over? Yeah. Is it? 20 seconds? I mean, is it? You can try to sprout the Ancient. I don't think that works. We did anymore. talk about how bad his damage is. Yeah. Oh, J4 hexed up. Oh, wait. Do they a have backdoor protection? Oh, okay. No backdoor. No. Oh. It's, it's, oh, it's still I'm getting gonna, there. Oh, they gonna, He's coming up. Quap's coming up in 10 uh, seconds. Yep. Yeah. What, what, the what, sleeps. Oh, I he mean, sprouted the Ancient. He sprouted the Ancient. He sprouted the Ancient. <laughs> No, I mean, 
10 seconds of Venos, they're, they're focusing it. Oh my god, Quapsa. Are they up. actually going to hold BKP from Kaiser? He's trying oh. to finish it. Can they get them off the Ancient? It doesn't look like they can. Surely not. They oh. can't. The game is over. Planet Dog 2 secure the equal 1-1 one, one now in this series. We're going to be going to a game three. They, wow. ne they nearly had. If they had held that, that would have been insane. But they didn't. Planet Dog with a very deserved victory. Great performance from them. Swift Endings PL mm -hmm. coming into action. 3-3 three, three certainly as well. Yeah, the scoreboard reflects it. It had a lot of impact with his Darks here. And why are we going to game three? Yeah, but I think uh, Darks here actually owned the hardest yeah, of anyone. I so that well. and I so actually want to give walls. a lot of credit to Milan as well because their early oh, game was sure, yeah. pretty yeah. boned, but then Jakiro was coming in in the clutch, helped them get to that late game situation, and they won. Well, what an ending. What an ending. What would be in store for game three? It's hard to... Do, I, do we do we see the Nature's Prophet being back? I think you ban yeah, I mean, you did beat it this time. You ban out the Dark Seer, you still go for MP. You, okay. The Dark Seer like, ruined them, I think. No, no, but if no. you're Planet Dog, do you ban... Oh, if you're Planet Dog, I think you're... I mean, you mm, did beat... I, was saying, you beat I think you're okay with it. You think you're okay? Yeah. I mean, Skylight still like the, played... He put so the much The Jakiro pressure. owned. The Jakiro was their anti-push. Okay. Remember they had, what, Night Stalker AA? Well, it's not so much the anti-push, it's the fact that Skylar keeps TPing and destroying your mid lane. That's true. I mean, this is uh, another game again. But it was okay. They had, they had Darkseer to amp up the Ember, so Ember okay. didn't actually need items. That's, eh. And Darkseer also had the pipe, too, which ruined yeah. the Venom's game. Yeah, the dark, uh, yeah, the Darkseer pick, yeah. As you said, played great. And uh, definitely the way, you know, he could build the items and such. Really limited as well what Madara could do. We, we saw Madara really struggle to go as hammers he did in game one in terms of the amount of damage he was able to to knock out but there we have it ladies and gentlemen we are going to a game three here in the playoffs of the eu qualifiers so don't go away a few minutes and we'll be back for game three of planet dog and mass sports <laughs>